like uh, obviously when the opportunity came up um, to, to come back, what was going through your mind and uh, and how did it feel to, to re-sign? Yeah, I'm grateful. First, I just want to say thanks to the Detroit Pistons, you know, for understanding and working with me. Um, and um, yeah, you know, obviously uh, I had some good times here uh, and um, so OKC is a very special place to me, so I'm grateful to be back. This has got to be kind of interesting. Obviously, you know so much about what this team is doing and, and can fit in, in that way, but it's probably not exactly the same team um, that you left. How has that been so far, um, kind of just being out on the floor with the guys just a little bit here uh, in the early going? It's been interesting. Yeah, obviously, uh, it's been awesome to watch Chet this year. You know, he's playing great. Um, yeah, I know Kaysen from the Top 100 camp. <laughs> I was actually his coach for that, so uh, that was kind of cool to be teammates with him now. But um, yeah, just I've been following them all year uh, and um, and talked to Mark, you know, quite a bit. So uh, yeah, it's just it's nice to be back here and see some new faces and see some familiar ones too. Mike, I think it would be presumptive for me to assume that you would kind of be doing the same thing that you were here for last year. Just what what is in your conversations with guys since you got here the other day? What what is the expectation for you? now with this team, this, this new look team? There really hasn't been any talk of expectations. I think just, um, you know, just a lot of the offense, you know, is similar concepts. So just, you know, trying to, um, you know, just get reacquainted with it, uh, but not overthink things either and just, you know, absorb things and um, just do my job. Yeah. Another, oh, sorry. I was there. I know there are a few, oh, heads up. <laughs> I know there are a few new faces, but seeing Shay, seeing Lou, seeing guys that you've played with for several years what was it like just walking back in the locker room and seeing those guys again it was it's a bit surreal honestly you know it's been uh, I've, I've been around quite a bit in the last 13 months so um no it's great to see them you know we obviously shared several years together so um yeah it's great to be reacquainted with them you were here when the wins were, were were tough to come by but now is it gratifying to be back to kind of help this team in the playoffs and beyond yeah for sure um yeah, I told John Reed, I was, I was like, the direct correlation to when I left and uh, the Thunder wins. So I'm just trying to hear it, just not mess it up, you know? <laughs> uh, so, yeah, no, I mean, uh, obviously it's it's an exciting time for Thunder fans uh, and, you know, for everyone in the organization. Uh, and it's well-deserved. So, um, you know, just stay in Did you have strong belief that this team was going to get to where they're at right now? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, Shea's obviously a phenomenal player. Mark's a phenomenal coach. Um, you know, J Dub. It's been amazing to watch his uh, performance. Wow, <laughs> performances this year. Um, Lou. I mean, I can go down the list, you know. But uh, Sam Presti obviously is very thoughtful and, and things that he does. So, uh, yeah, I'm just grateful to be a part of it again. Yeah. Mike, with that, I mean, obviously the team is headed towards something that it maybe it didn't seem like it was a year ago or even earlier when you were here. I know the NBA is a business, you got to buy in wherever you go, but were you maybe like looking from afar, kind of itching to, to get back to something like this? No, not necessarily. Uh, and I, I credit Mark a lot for, for that help with me. You know, he always preaches being where your feet are. And, um, and that's really stuck with me. You know, like I said, I moved around a lot this last 13 months. And uh, I'm really grateful for that journey that I've been on. And I'm grateful to be back. Yeah, do you think that you learned anything about your game or um, yourself as a person in these last 13 months or so? Yeah, a lot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can't really um, pinpoint anything in particular, but um, yeah, I actually saw a quote from um, Novak Djokovic, yeah. that's how you say his name, and he was talking about um, just, you know, awareness and, and uh and being present and something that stuck with me recently was his, him saying it's not so much about um he's just kind of explaining that the quicker you're able to get back into being in the moment that's to him is is where the magic is and so that's something i've been trying to focus on like i said with all the moving i've been doing just being like okay i can acknowledge it um you know it was a good a good ride but now i'm here and so let's make the most of it you had mentioned just kind of bouncing around a lot over the last 13 months. How nice is it coming into an organization where you don't have to relearn a language or understand terminology and that there's there's a lot of familiarity in something like this? Yeah, it's nice. It's a blessing for sure. Um, you know, it's still basketball at the end of the day. So, like I said, not trying to overthink things. I think Mark does a good job of giving, you know, the team sets to play out of. Uh, and, he, you know, he's a, a very aware coach. He's always, uh, you know, aware of the time to score. So it's, it's going to be nice, um, you know, to, to play again for him. Thanks, Muskie. Right, thanks, thanks, Mike.